Hi, this is Shroudi, and today we will explore three key ideas from Mind Map Mastery by Tony Buzan. Mind Map Mastery, subtitle The Complete Guide to Learning and Using the Most Powerful Thinking Tool in the Universe. Tony Buzan is uh, the inventor of mind mapping and uh, I'm very excited about this book because it uh, presents a thinking tool that can transform your life just as it has transformed mine. If you're uh, sick of uh, taking boring notes to lectures or books, sick of uh, rem forgetting all most of the most important points of the books you study, or if you're sick of uh, having your days be um, mighty mess of not knowing what's most important to do when, then uh, you'll really love Mind Map Mastery. Because in that book, Tony Buzan uh, explains what a mind map is, how we can uh, use it, and uh, many of the applications. He has a list of 99 applications. And uh, he also explains a lot of the applications in detail. And finally, he um, has a very easy to understand step-by-step -step process for learning how to mind map most effectively. So uh, please uh, stick with me till the end of this video because uh, in the end I will um, point you to a resource where you can, you can start to learn how to master mind mapping yourself. Okay, today I wanna to share three key ideas with you. The first one is what is mind mapping? Second, what are some of the most powerful uses of mind mapping? And thirdly, how? can use mind map and uh, I will share, share a very basic way and then uh, the more masterful way so first what is mind mapping mind mapping is uh, on the fundamental level a um, thinking tool for um, organizing information and getting it down on paper most creatively effectively while having fun doing it it uh, uses the power of association which is uh, really the way that we learn and remember most effectively, of combining what we know to what we don't know. For example, when you're learning new languages, you can uh, uh, use some of the words you know from your own language very often and uh, uh, relate them to Latin words or such, combining what you know with what you don't know, and you'll learn and remember more effectively then. You activate something called radiant thinking by uh, using images and colors and associations in your mind mapping. Let's uh, do one quick experiment right now, so you'll learn what radiant thinking is like. This flowery way that your thoughts can burst out into every direction in uh, an almost infinite capacity. So right now, I want you to close your eyes, unless you're driving, of course, but close your eyes for just a few seconds and think about the word apple. Now open your eyes again, and uh, when you thought about the word apple, did you see the five letters A-P-P-L-E spelled out? I guess you didn't. Probably you got a multi-sensory experience of um, how an apple looks like, perhaps its color of red, yellow, or green, or some other crazy color if uh, you're more imaginative. You might have um, imagined the taste or the sound of uh, biting into an apple. Or you might have uh, seen a location where apples usually are, whether they are in a bowl that you have, in your arm, in the arm of a friend, or whatever. But you didn't uh, just imagine the letters A-P-P-L-E. You had a multi-sensory experience, and that is the way our brains think with associations, and that activates radiant thinking, which uh, we can make a lot more associations by using images and colors and combining them. The other uh, powerful uh, the thing that makes uh, mind mapping so powerful is that it activates whole brain thinking. Instead of just using your left, more logical, step-by-step -step, uh, uh, part of your brain, or the right, more creative part, you combine both of them so you're able to use both logical numbers, sequences, analysis, and more creative, uh, imaginative, and visual processes. And uh, since we all have the two halves of our brain already. 
why not start using both of them and therefore start using our minds better for learning, remembering and organizing information more effectively. Right, so that's a mind map, a thinking tool for organizing information down on paper. Second key idea is what are some of the best uses of mind mapping? Well, uh, there are, it's really uh, a matter of your imagination, uh, the limits of uh, what you can use mind mapping for, but some of the most important things that I use mind mapping for these days are one, preparing my days, planning what I need to do today, especially in terms of the goals I have set five years, three, one, six months, one month, one week ahead of me. So I can kind of combine and stretch what I need to do now to what I want to accomplish in the future. So I plan each of my days and it becomes very clear to me what needs to be done when, what's most important. Another of the uses is to set goals. So you'll have these uh, very clear uh, mind maps where you have your main, most important goals drawn out as an image or in big letters. So it becomes very clear on just five seconds of reviewing the page, what are your most important goals? And you have uh, projects. You can use mind mapping for preparing these videos, just like I did. You can use them for uh, uh, starting a business, or you can use it for your own personal growth, or studying uh, personal development books, for videos like these, or for seminars. Recording down all the amazing ideas and insights and principles that you learn for mastering yourself. So that's some of the uses of mind mapping. Planning, goal setting and projects. Now the third idea is how to mind map. So I'll uh, explain a very basic process right now. First, if you want to start mind mapping, you can just draw a circle with uh, one word or key topic in the middle. I'll just make sure that you see it. Then when you find that key, a key topic, for example mind maps, you start creating branches of the first thoughts that appear to you, like thinking, and then have a sub-branch effectively. And you can just start fl keep flushing out and making your mind map more intricate and uh, filling in on the details that you need regarding your topic. But this is a very primitive tip of the iceberg way of exploring the possibilities of mind mapping. So uh, therefore I'm going to point you to two videos that I've uh, made of um, how to mind map. No, actually one. One will be enough in the beginning. One uh, video where I have, um, I uh, share with you how to mind map. I share the uh, limits of linear note taking, benefits of mind mapping, and then the seven basic steps you need for each of the mind maps you are going to create throughout your entire life. That's a pretty basic and fundamental, but also extremely important, like the fun foundation of a house. So here, just to give you an example, here is a, a full mind map where I am using most of the um, fundamental laws and basic steps on mind mapping. I've had a central image with colors, branches with colors, big symbols, some images, etc. But they can uh, become a lot prettier and more creative than this. Just uh, look in the, the description below and you'll see a link to how to mind map. And then you can go watch that video, which uh, really set the foundation of uh, how you're going to use mind mapping for the rest of your life. And from there on, you can uh, watch the other video on 10 fundamental laws of mind mapping. But just go to how to mind map first to explore the possibilities. Right, let's review each of the ideas. First, we learned uh, what a mind map is, which is a thinking tool for organizing information down on paper. Second, the ways we can use mind mapping is, uh, are especially for uh, planning your days, setting goals, and creating projects. But really, you can ask yourself the question, can I use a mind map for this, whatever your task is? And there, you unlock uses of mind mapping. And thirdly, we learned how to mind map, which is you can start with the tip of the iceberg if you want to, but then it's really important to learn how the basic steps of a real masterful mind mapping so you can become much more creative, effective, and have more fun with your mind maps. I, I don't know how many times I've repeated the word mind map in this video, but uh, 
but I, I hope you bear with me on, on it. And by the way, another benefit of mind mapping is um, the powerful way that it helps you remember. I haven't been looking at my notes uh, at all in this video, and I only created one first draft of the mind map, one second draft, then I tried to recall the information in the mind map one time, and now I can remember everything. So that's uh, another benefit. It makes you a lot better at speaking and presentations. Not to brag, but uh, yeah, that's another benefit. So finally, my question for you is, have you tried out mind mapping yourself? And what have been your experiences with mind mapping, positive and negative? Please uh, comment them down below and uh, I'll follow up with you, with you there. Okay. Remember to check out my how to mind map video in the description or follow this link I have in, right in the video here. Also um, like this video if you did, share it with your friends who can also benefit from mind mapping and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on key ideas for realizing your ultimate potential. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you an awesome day. See ya.